Hey yo, what's going on with the viewers of the tube? Tyler here of Chico Crypto. Coming to you, not live, not in the studio, but out in my beautiful backyard with my tree once again. So it's not a bad day for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a pumping. Um, we're above, getting towards 21K. Um, looking to maybe possibly break into 22K. So what's been going on? Well... Since June 13th, the Bitcoin price has been dancing around 20K. Um, we have major resistance at 21.5K, and then the next level is around 22K, about 22.5K. So, in my opinion, Bitcoin isn't out of the bearish woods just yet. As you can tell from the title, major Bitcoin warning, the bottom isn't in. Um, we haven't seen the Bitcoin bottom, in my opinion. Um, traditional markets, stonks, you know, they had a green day, which in my opinion is going to be very short-lived. By next week, the bears are going to return. So why do I think that? Well, the Fed minutes were released from their FOMC meeting and basically they said they're going to be raising rates again, you guys. And not only that, we have CPI, the Consumer Price Index data that is going to be released again next week. And it's probably not going to be good. Inflation isn't stopping. So yeah, once that data comes out, the markets are going to return into the bearish downtrend that we've been seeing across all markets. So what's going on with, you know, crypto stonks all around? This is a classic, classic bull trap. I mean, if you look across socials, people are getting pretty bullish across the board. Um... Even, you know, some of the bigger entities like Plan B posted a wave with 21K. I mean, people are getting bullish. It's classic bull trap, you guys. And it's actually supported by some strong TA technical analysis. There's a bearish pendant that people have been drawing, and we've actually broken out of that. So now people think we're going to return to bullish. Well, the markets are going to slap those people across the face. Um, and there's more to this than just, you know, technical. So Celsius, they've actually repaid their BTC loan. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? Celsius repaying their BTC loan. Well, no, it's because they actually have a ton of Bitcoin. I think over 21,000 that possibly could be dumped on the markets. And those Bitcoin were actually transferred to FTX. So now the question is, who bailed out Celsius? Who gave them money, you know, so they could repay that loan? Was it Sam Bankman? You know, well, there are rumors that he was going to, you know, purchase Celsius. And actually, Sam Bankman has said, no, 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 I'm not going to buy that. So who the freak was it? Who bailed out Celsius? Who could it be? It was Tether. Tether USDT. So if you guys didn't know, Tether is actually a 20% shareholder, over 20%, about 20.6% shareholder in Celsius. So based on that, my calculations on Tether's balance sheet, you know, of their assets backing their reserves at least one to five billion in my opinion is actually celsius assets that are backing the tether stable coin so of course tether has a strong very strong incentive to not let celsius collapse because if they collapse that means some of their backing goes poof, gone forever so another question is you know um was Tether exposed to 3AC, 3AC, 3 Arrows Capital? And I'm sure they were. So Tether already pretty much lost those assets. If they lost Celsius as well, it would have been the one-two punch and we could have seen a Tether Redemption's death spiral happen. So now let's talk about, you know, when the Bitcoin bottom is going to be. I've been holding this theory for a long time. I think it's going to be in late August, early September. And now there's more information coming out that that theory may be correct. 
So, final capitulation. August. Why? Late August. Well, nearly 140,000 BTC from the Mount Gox, you know, case that has been going on for years and years and years, I mean, eight years at least now, is getting distributed to the early investors and the users of Mount Gox. So if you guys don't know what Mt. Gox is, it was one of the first Bitcoin exchanges and um, they were doing some funny business and they lost a ton of their users BTC. Um, I actually used Mt. Gox way back in the day, if you can believe that. So 140 BTC at today's prices is nearly $3 billion in possible sell pressure that could be hitting the markets around August, late August. So that isn't good, you know, and another reason why I think the final capitulation will be coming. And of course, we haven't seen the minor deleveraging and capitulation, which happens every bear cycle. The more things change, the more they freaking stay the same. We haven't seen it yet, and it will come. But now let's talk a little bit about some altcoins, you know. Um, of course, you know, if Bitcoin starts a downtrend, altcoins will get wrecked, but there will be good opportunities in this space. And I've been saying this for months and months and months now, since I confirmed a bear market, um, that old school DeFi coins are going to have a surge. So I talked about Synthetics Network probably three months ago now, saying that they were going, I mean, they dropped out of the top 100. I think they got down to like 108. And I was like, they're gonna break right back into the top 100 and um, do well. Of course they have, and I think they're sitting at number 75 right now. So again, old school DeFi projects. And another one is Aave. Aave just had a proposal that is getting released for them to launch their own stable coin, a maker die style stable coin um, over collateralized and it is GHO Ghost. So again, Aave is already surging because of the news, but that just reinforces my theory of old school DeFi. Um, but there's also other projects out there um, that are probably gonna surge due to, you know, the crap getting washed away in the actual builder's building. Um, compound is there. I think they're at like 130 something, 140 something. They'll probably break back into the top 100. Uh, Yearn, Yearn is dropped out of the top 100. And um, Curve, CRV is actually out of the top 100 right now. So again, you guys, old school DeFi who are builders, known builders, they are gonna resurge in this bear market. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Um, but now let's talk about some, you know, new school. DeFi projects. One that's been on my radar for a while and I've brought up on multiple occasions is GMX. I have a feeling they're probably going to break into the top 100. They're sitting at about 180 right now. Um, it is a perpetual sh exchange on Arbitrum which pays out in the layer they're using native token. So if it's on an ETH layer 2, it's paying out an ETH. If it's on Avalanche, it's paying out an Avalanche. It's a great way to stack those types of coins. Um, another thing I want to talk about, though, is, you know, scaling, you know, some of these layer zeros, you can call them, who are going to provide scalability and interoperability. Of course, I'm a big bull on Polkadot. Polkadot ha has been working at this for years and years and years. I mean, Gavin built Ethereum in a weekend and he's been, took four years to build Polkadot. So I'm a big bull on Polkadot. But another one who will see a surge, in my opinion, is Cosmos. I'm not a big fan of Cosmos, I just tell it like it is. Cosmos is probably gonna see a surge and break up and towards the top 10 um, because they are going to be pulling a lot of Ethereum dApps um, over to their side. Of course, we saw DYDX, and just a week ago, I talked about Uniswap going. Um, if Uniswap, it gets announced that, yeah, they are building the Uniswap chain with Cosmos, you're gonna see a a major surge from Cosmos. Um, but the final thing I want to talk about is in the NFT space. So I called NFTs being a bit one of the big things that kick off a bull run and that happened. I called DeFi also doing that. Another thing I see in the NFT space taking off is music NFTs. And I'm gonna give you guys a little hint. So the cameraman for Chico Crypto, his name is Chase. He's actually an artist and producer and we're going to be doing a special NFT drop 
for the Chico crypto community. And I'm sure you guys are going to love his music. I can't wait to get it done. And I'll give you a little hint. We're partnering with a polka dot project, Public Pressure. Um, no token for them yet, but it will be coming and the NFT drop is going to be insane. Well, cheers, you guys. We are at the Bitcoin bottom. Um, this is a classic, classic bull trap. But again, bear markets are where millionaires are made. It's where whales are conceived. So let's get it. I'll see you guys next time.